Hey everybody, Ryan here from Rhino Hockey Channel. I'm sorry I didn't done my draft pre or review so far. I didn't even get to do a mock draft. I had a wedding I was at last week, so <laughs> I forgot all about the draft, honestly, because I was traveling that day. So I didn't get to watch it even until Sunday. That was the first day I got to watch it, and I had food poisoning for most of the week, so I have not been able to do much. So finally get into it. Sorry it's late, but here we go. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell if you haven't done so already. And let's get started with the overview of the 2021 NHL Entry Draft. This is only for the first round, by the way. All right, number one overall, we got Buffalo Sabres picking Owen Power, the six foot six, 213 pound defender. This kid looks like he's gonna be a lot like Chris Pronger when it comes to size. I'm not sure he's gonna be as mean, but he's probably you know, he's got a little bit of mean streak. But I'm not sure he's gonna have the offensive ability that Pronger has. But he's gonna be a solid defender, and I have no doubt about that. I mean, he could definitely complement a number one defender being the number two. I, I'm not sure he could be that number one defender unless he picks up his offensive game, which is always possible. He's still in college, so he could still develop that. But I think he's gonna be a solid defender for sure. All right, number two, Seattle Kraken with their first ever NHL entry draft pick, pick Matthew Beniers, the center from the University of Michigan. 6'2", 175 pounds. Guy is good. He, he's definitely like a uh, Ryan O'Reilly, a Ryan Kessler type of center. I'm not, he doesn't, I don't think he has the meanness of Kessler, but he's definitely a Ryan O'Reilly and Kessler defensive as well as offensive center. <clears throat> he's definitely going to be there. I, I don't think he's going to be a number one defender. I think he's going to be a number two. Or, sorry, center, not defender. But he's definitely a solid, really good pick. I don't think he'll play this year until, like, maybe at the end of the college season. But he's going to be a solid player for them down the line for sure. Number three. The Anaheim Ducks picked Mason McTavish. A center, six foot one, two oh seven. Now, McTavish is going to be a good player. I have no doubt about that. I think he'll be a good player. I'm not sure they should have picked him third. I think if they had the chance, they should have traded down, got something for this third overall pick, because I think other guys would have been better served as number three. And from what I understand, they tried, but nobody wanted to pay the price. So, oh well. So they took the guy they wanted, Mason McTavish. He was estimated to go somewhere around the 9-10 area, so definitely got picked earlier. But he's going to be a solid center. I mean, he's definitely got a good shot, which is what the Ducks need is a goal scorer. He's got that. He's got size, 6-1, 2 7 He's got a bit of a mean streak. I mean, he can definitely hit, and he can, he can fight in front of that net, that's for sure. So that's something they needed, too. This team was physically dominated last year for the most part. And it was kind of embarrassing to watch for a while there. But I think they got someone pretty solid here. I don't think he's going to be ready this year. I mean, maybe they give him that nine-game tryout, but... Or ten games. Nine or ten-game tryout, but... I'm not sure he's necessarily ready yet. He may need another year if they actually have an OHL season. Or a year in Switzerland, because that's where he played last year with Switzerland. So, we'll see, but it was kind of surprising to see them pick him. But still, like I said, a solid pick. Number four, New Jersey picks Luke Hughes. Shocker, New Jersey got our Hughes brother. And oh, on TV, they made a big deal out of Quinn was sitting next to him, and they're trying to get him to go to New Jersey already. Well, he's a restricted free agent, so they could technically offer sheet him. Not sure if they want to lose four first-round picks, because that's probably what it would take. Because you'd have to sign him for probably like 10 odd some million. Just to get Vancouver to say, have fun, boyos. Anyways, there's my Irish side coming out again. Luke Hughes, defender 6'2", 184. Uh, from what I've seen of him, he, he's a raw talent, so he still needs to develop a little bit more. I don't think he's going to be ready this year. Next year maybe a stretch too, but he's going to be a solid defender down the line. I think he's better defensively than Quinn is or will be 
better defensively than Quentin Hughes is, and he'll be playing with his brother Jack. So, there you go. Number five, Columbus Blue Jackets pick Ken Johnson. Kent Johnson, sorry. A center from what was it, University of Michigan as well. Same one has been years, I believe. Uh, center, 6'1", 167. This kid needs to put on some weight. He's six foot one. You're 167 pounds. Come on, man. I mean, I know he's had a good year in college, and that's all fine and good, but college versus NHL, a little bit of a difference there. So, I think and I think he said he's staying in college this year, so bulk up a bit, and he should be all right. He, he's definitely got the goal scoring. He's got the all-around play, so good pick. Good, solid pick by Columbus here. Number six, the Detroit Red Wings. Pick Simon Edvinson. Shocker. Detroit picked the Swede. Oh. It's never happened before. No, I'm kidding. They they always pick really good Swedes in the first round. They they have never had many, if any, problems with them. So and this one's gonna be another good one. I mean their number one, number two defenders are gonna be Oh, what's that German kid they picked last year? Or two years ago. Shoot, I can't think of his name right now. But they have that kid, and they have Simon Evanson. Definitely a good, solid defender. He's going to be very good in the NHL. 6'4", 198. He's said to be a lot like uh, Victor Hedman. So, good company and good praise. So, we'll see. I mean, you never know, but he seems like he'll be a solid defender. I think this is a good pickup for a Detroit team. I was kind of surprised they didn't go with Jasper Wallstedt, but, hey, they got a really good, solid player. I mean... If he had fallen to 7th, I think San Jose would have picked him. Instead, they picked another guy who fell to 7th. William Eklund went to San Jose. Honestly, I think I'm not a huge fan of San Jose because I grew up going to their games and being around their fans and being a Ducks fan. Rival, so. There was a fan. Never liked their fans, but it is what it is. But the San Jose Sharks, they got a steal here. They really did. William Eklund fell to 7th. This guy was expected to go anywhere from first to third, and he fell to seventh. Yikes. Left winger, 5'10", 176. He is a bit undersized, but in the current NHL, I don't think that's as much a big deal as it used to be. So, he's turning up over in Sweden, and he may play this year for them. He may. We'll see, but he definitely could. I think he may need to put on a little bit more weight, but... I think he could be a dang solid player in this league nowadays, so good pickup by them. LA is at number eight, and they picked Brent Clark, a defender. Six foot two, 185. This guy was supposed to go anywhere from third to tenth. Or I think they even saw like twelfth. But LA picked him because they needed an offensive defender. They need that desperately. Uh, Drew Doughty. He's okay offensively, but I think Brent Clark's going to be a far better offensive defender than he will be. So, I think this is going to be a really good pickup. He needs a little bit more time to develop, but he'll be a solid player. Six foot two, 185, definitely needs to put on a little bit more weight for that frame, but you got some time to do it. So, LA, once again, probably the strongest pool of prospects in the entire league. Got even stronger. Number nine. Arizona Coyotes, the pick they got from Vancouver in the Oliver Ekman Larson trade. Well, Oliver Ekman Larson and uh, Connor Garland, but still. They picked Dylan Gunther, the scoring right winger, six foot two, 175. Good pick here. I mean, they need offense, they need everything. I think at this point, if the entire league doesn't realize that Arizona is purposely tanking for Shane Wright at this point, think you're pretty dang blind. I mean, they basically sold everything. And my phone's buzzing. Sorry about that. They sold basically everything. So, and they got really not much in return. And what they did, they'll probably trade the trade deadline. So, good pickup. And they're going to get an even better pick next year, I think. But this is a good one because he was picked to go anywhere for second to tenth as well. So, good solid pickup here for a first-time pick that Arizona required from someone else because... We'll find out about theirs in a little bit. Number 10. Ottawa Senators rounded out the top 10 by picking Tyler Boucher. Yeah, this one went really off the boards. The, the Ducks went off the board, 
but it was still a guy I expected to go in the top 10. Where this guy wasn't supposed to go even in the first round from everything that I've seen about him. He seems like he'll be a solid third liner at most from what I've seen and heard about this kid. He's definitely a physical presence from what I understand, but I'm not sure what his offensive ceiling is. I'm not sure much about him. I mean, he wasn't, I think everybody was surprised because he was in that massive group of the uh, U.S. development and the college players all in one room that was meant for later on in the draft, not this early. So it was kind of surprising. I think everybody in the room was surprised. This kid was surprised. But, hey, you know, if he ends up developing and he ends up being something more than a third liner, it's definitely a win. But Ottawa has a solid, solid talent pool right now. So picking up more of the depth forwards, not a bad idea. But kind of surprising at 10th. But I think they could have got him in the second round easily. But, hey, you picked who you picked. Number 11, Arizona Coyotes. The pick that is voided. Yes, they lost this pick. Because of the combine tampering that they committed a couple years ago under their former GM who ditched them. Yes, this one was voided, so no pick. Number 12, Columbus picked Cole Sillinger, a center, 6 foot, 197. Solid pickup again for Columbus, not a good forward. So, hey, Columbus making good picks so far. Number 13, Calgary picks Matthew Coronto. Coronado, sorry. Coronado, a right winger, 5'10", 183. Not a really good solid pickup. Evidently, Calgary likes to pick up Matthews. So, hey, let's pick up a whole bunch of Matthews. Maybe we'll, one of them will be really good. Well, you already got one, so let's go for two. He's probably not going to be ready for another year or two at least. So, got some time to develop. I believe he's, believe he's going to college, if I remember correctly, but I could be incorrect on that. Number 14, Buffalo is back up again. They picked Isaac Rosen, a right winger, 5'11", 156. Undersized. Definitely undersized. So, we'll see. But uh, we'll, I think he, if I remember correctly, he has a lot of offensive talent. So, he could be very good or not. We'll see. Number 15, the Detroit Red Wings picked Sebastian Cosa, a goalie. Six foot six, 210. Is he a goalie or is he just a guy standing there blocking pucks? I think he's just going to stand there and block pucks. That's what most goalies are nowadays. But it was kind of surprising they went with Kosa. I would figure when they got this, when they had this pick, they would pick Wallstead if they didn't do it with their first one. Huh? We'll see. So this is our first goalie of the first round, number 15. Big, big goalie. So, most goalies, it takes more time to develop. And Spash and Kosa, I'm going to imagine, is going to be at least a couple of years, if not longer. So, don't expect to see him right away. But, Detroit going for the weakness in goaltending. Number 16, New York Rangers pick Brendan Othman. A left winger, 6'175". I don't think this was a great pick by the Rangers. I don't think many, I haven't heard many people that have said that was a good pick, so... I think they missed out on some good talent, especially defense that they need more on offense at this point. And they went with offense. But, I mean, if, if it's the guy they want, it's the guy they want. Hopefully it works out. St. Louis is at number 17, picking Zachary Balduk, a center, six foot one, 175. Like I said, for quite a few of these, put on the weight, and he could be a solid forward. From what I understand, he's a pretty solid offensive kid with some defensive abilities so good solid one to have I mean, you got ryan o'reilly all right but hey never hurts to have another offensive and defensive center winnipeg jets picking number 18 pick Chaz lucius a center six foot one 185 once again a guy who fell and i mean he didn't fall a lot but he fell a little bit but once again winnipeg taking advantage of guys who have fallen cole perfetti last year Chaz lucius this year Dang, gonna have a good center core for this team here pretty quick. <laughs> Nashville Predators pick at number 19, Fyodor Svechkov, a center, six foot 187. I'm not too familiar with him. He played in Russia. I don't get to see those games ever. So I guess I can find him on YouTube, but no. it's a guy that wanted. They need some offensive help because the guys they got now are not working. So 
Not going to help right away, but downline maybe? Hopefully he comes over. Number 20, the Minnesota Wild, Jesper Wallstedt. They pick. This is a good solid pick. They traded up for this pick, if I remember correctly. Good solid pick. This is a good goalie. I mean, they've already got Capo Kakinen, but now they're going to Jesper Wallstedt, who's probably going to be in the NHL within the next year. I don't know about this season, but by next season, I got to imagine this kid's going to be a backup goalie at least, or at least a number three goalie playing in the AHL to round out his game in the North American game. So, another faller and a good solid pick for Minnesota. I don't blame them for trading up for this pick. Number 21, the Boston Bruins pick Fabian Lysel. Right winger, 5'10", 172. This kid, I think, is going to be a lot better than a lot of people think. Uh, from all the clips and all the videos I've seen of this kid, he looks like he's going to be a good player, good offensive winger. So, if that works out, could be like a David Pasternak. They got him pretty late in the first round, too. So, Boston seems to do well with their picks. So, I trust them with those. Number 22, Edmonton Oilers pick Xavier Borgo. If I said that correctly, I'm sorry. Now, I've heard a lot of people blasting this pick, and I'm not sure it's the one I would have made. They definitely could have picked some other ones, like Carson Lambos, because they need defense. But they went with our center, six foot, 172, not going to be ready in the next year or two. So, got time to develop this kid. Hopefully, it works out and <laughs> makes Edmonton look good because a lot of people have been ripping this one. Number 23, the Dallas Stars pick Wyatt Johnston. A center, six foot one, one seventy eight. Like I said, like most of these kids, he's got to bulk up a bit. But from everything I've seen of him, he's gonna be could be a solid third line center, maybe top ceiling is second if it works out. But I'd say a third line center. Florida Panthers pick at number twenty four, Mackie Samoskevich, a right winger, five eleven, one ninety one. They. This team looks like they're going to be good here pretty quick, especially if Ekblad can come back playing like he did last year for the injury. So, this kid is something to work on. So, they got time. They already got the talent up there now. They don't need him right away. So, they have time to work on this kid. Number 25, the Columbus Blue Jackets, their third pick of the first round. Corson Kuhlmans, a defender, 6'2", 198. Now, I mean, this wasn't the Probably wasn't the best defender available at the time, but still a good solid defender. I think he got time on this kid. I don't think it's going to be right away by any stretch, but he can be a solid defender. So we'll see. I don't think he's got a whole lot offensive ceiling, but the defensive ceiling is pretty high. 26, Minnesota Wild, Carson Lambos. Carson Lambos fell a little bit. I mean, he definitely was projected to go higher earlier in the season fell a bit but and then fell a few picks from where he was expected to go but still good solid pick again for minnesota they already got good defense but gonna be even better in the future i guess six foot one 197 so good pick by minnesota got time with him but i bet you he'll probably be in juniors for the next couple of years but then he'll probably be in the nhl and be a solid player i think Number 27, Nashville Prayers, Zachary, Zachary LaRue. I hope I said that correctly. If I did not, please let me know in the comments what, how to say it properly. Left winger, 5'11", 196. The best one available at the time. He's definitely going to be able to put in some goals. I don't know if he's going to be like a 40-goal scorer, but he could definitely put in probably about 15 and 20 every year in the third-line role, I'd say. Maybe, maybe ceiling of a second. Maybe, maybe little chance of that this isn't like i said like we have been saying this whole time this is not the strongest of drafts there's definitely chances here i mean you never know so go with what your best pick is or go with whatever your team wants to pick so we'll see how he develops 28 colorado picked oscar olison a right winger 6 180 i was surprised they went with a forward but i mean they have a strong defensive pool they have a strong forward pool. So, they got a guy they can develop over the next couple years. So, something to work on for Colorado. Number 29, New Jersey Devils picked Chase Stillman, a right winger, 6'1", 180. 
If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. This is your nephew or son of Corey Stillman. If he is, then if you had the luck that Corey Stillman had, you could have a dang good career. But definitely someone to work on. So New Jersey's going to work on this kid. Hopefully they can be helping their offense down the line. Number 30, the Vegas Golden Knights pick Zach Dean. The center, six foot 176. This Vegas team has been gotten rid of all their first round picks from their first season. They had three first round picks that first season. All are gone. Their their pool is not great. I mean, they have Camille Krebs. Nick Haig is already playing. I mean, I can't think of any other really top notch guys. I can't even say Zach Nia is a top notch one. But if he could end up being a really good depth forward for him, then it's a win. 31 Montreal Canadiens pick Logan Mayu. If I said that incorrectly, I'm sorry. A defender, 6'3", 212. Big kid already. He was expected to go much earlier in the draft, but he asked not to be drafted by anyone. And I put their why with many question marks for one simple reason. He has a lot of baggage now. He is the one who was playing in Sweden instead of the juniors because juniors weren't playing. He played in Sweden. Got into a bit of a tryst with a Swedish girl. Took pictures of it and shared it with his team without her permission. Which is a crime, by the way. If you did not know, it is a crime. Because she did not give permission. So... I mean, well, she didn't give permission for the pictures. That was the problem there. The rest of it had permission. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't a rape situation like that. No. Uh, it, he shared the pictures inappropriately without permission. So that is a crime, especially in Sweden. That is one. Um, I believe it's a civil case, though. They're not doing a criminal from what I understand. So if everything I've seen so far, he seems very remorseful and is trying to make it right. But at the same time, the victim in this situation seeing him being picked even though he did this especially right after it came out yeah, this was not a good pick by Montreal and their owner has already come out and said numerous time things against this uh, Mayu will not be participating in the training camp this year they said they're going to work with him so I think they're going to stick with him unlike the Coyotes with their pick last time around but that one was more of a racism thing versus what he did here but my opinion is just as bad I mean you can't share explicit images of people without permission that is for dang sure we even have laws against that in the US they what are they called revenge porn laws basically but I, before I get into too much detail with this it, it was a bad pick I I think I think talent wise he's definitely talented he was supposed to go much earlier so I think talent wise good pick Morally, it hits the NHL with a black eye right now because they've been really pushing the the everyone can play hockey. The I forget the name of the program right now they're running. Oh, hockey is for everyone. It hurts that. It definitely hurts that. And I think it was a bad pick just from that. I mean, you could have picked him much later, like in the seventh, I think, and nobody would touch this kid. And Maybe down the line you could have come out looking really good for that one, but the zoo they picked. So we'll have to see. At least not Buffalo making up a pl a player. So there's that at least. Then our final pick, number 32, Chicago picked Nolan Allen, a defender, 6'2, 195. And that is it for the draft. He will be, I'm guessing Nolan Allen will probably be a, more of a depth defender. I don't think he's going to be a 1 2, maybe a 4 at best as your ceiling, but going to be a solid depth defender and down the line. So that's all that I have for you. That is the entire first round. I'm not going to go through every single pick because good Lord, can you imagine how long that video would be? Cause this one's already probably a half hour as it is. So if you haven't done so already hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Be notified when I drop a new video. All this helps the channel out, helps me out. And if you let me know in the comments what you think of your team's picks, who made the best picks, who made some terrible picks, 
Montreal's number one there. Because I have a feeling they're going to let this kid go, and that just was a wasted first-round pick. So, let me know what you think of the draft. All right, I will see you all next video. Bye, everybody.